It's, uh, it's good to see you guys. It's, it's a sad and uh, frustrated and really kind of broken um, locker room. And so it's, um, all that's just very tough. Um, I told them I'm very appreciative and honored by their fight. I thought that uh, there was never any quit, and I thought that the team played hard uh, for each other and together. And so um, I'm proud of that. I'm disappointed in just the lack of execution, especially early in the game. There's opportunities. You know, I don't know how many times the ball was you know, inside the five, and um, at the end of the drive, it's you know, outside the 20. And you just haven't been in games before when there really should have been seven, and if there's zero, or even if there's three, where that doesn't come back and get you. And unfortunately, that was us you know, today. I thought that um, you know, our ability to play a complete game um, is almost a, a, a version, or it's almost the halves kind of split us. I feel like defensively, really kind of starting fast and, and being able to get people off uh, the field with some three and outs, um, and then you know, stopping the run. And then I think as the game went on, um, you know, the, their offensive uh, structure uh, was more empty and everything else, and they were able to get some runs defensively, and we had to adjust. And I thought there was fight there, uh, but I thought we waned in, in the final moments. And I thought offensively um, we got better towards the end of the, the game, and we really needed some production in the beginning. And so our ability to kind of play all systems firing and all cylinders turning and the whole thing um, is uh, it's disappointing to not have that with the emphasis and the focus on it. Um, you know, there's still a lot of football left. I know that there's, you know, there's been improvement and it's hard to speak like this because it's, you know, I know it's so depressing and I'm depressed too and all this and so I just, I feel that, but there's been improvement and it's to keep the focus on it and to keep working on the things that we can control and to be able to get you know, the, the film to the practice field, right, to the game. And I thought there, there was times we were able to do that today from things that were, we were struggling with in the past. And so we're gonna keep chopping away at that. And uh, we're gonna keep the team together to do that. Take any questions you guys got. Dave, obviously, you know, six out of the seven games here at home have mm -hmm. ended with the same result. Mm -hmm. uh, you touched on the execution, but mm -hmm. are there changes that need to be made from, like, schematic or mm -hmm. personnel, you know, standpoint? Appreciate that. Yeah, I think early in the season with the amount of new people and youth on the team, I think some of it, you know, I think a lot of the games were at home in the beginning, and I think a lot of it was – Anxiousness, nervousness, um, bright lights, big city. Um, you know, there would be times where we'd practice and and we would be one thing in the practice environment and come out here and be another thing. And that would generally start, there would be slow starts with that. I don't think that, that has not been us here um, in these last couple games. I feel like the, the youth of all of it has kind of been through it and has seen the other side of it. I think now, if anything, what we're fighting is just the, you know, the accumulation of the losses and just the noise and just all of that. But I thought that there was a lot of fight today and a lot of, uh, a lot of good things. The finish, for sure, was not there, and that's just disappointing when we emphasize it as much as we do. Yeah, uh, thank you, Coach. Um, you know, obviously the window is closing, but there's still a path to a bowl game. Mm -hmm. You know, just over the course of the season, Baylor has been a road team, one more on the road than at home. Do you still see that as a possibility for the team? I appreciate the question. We want to win every game that we're in, and we really make the, um, the attention and the uh, intentionality of everything we're doing focused on that. And so, um, you know, they put a game in front of us. We want to prepare to win. And so um, it was brought up in our, um, our meeting just now that we still have an opportunity to do this. And so let's stay together and do it. 
Coach, you alluded to that noise in one mm-hmm. of your answers. Mm-hmm. And obviously, in this social media age, with a lot of the opinions that I'm sure are out there about what maybe needs to change, whether it's decisions, coaching staff, things like that, mm-hmm. how do you deal with all of that? Appreciate that. Yeah, I think um, I think it, it's. I appreciate that. I, th- I think that anytime you have a conversation, um, you know, you have to reveal yourself. And I just think that um, anytime that there's things that are kind of coming back that aren't, that are not, I'm not doing well, we're not doing well, you know, I try not to get caught up in the emotion of it. I try to hear the facts of it, right, or just the meat of it the, and, and potatoes of it. And what can we, what can we do to get better? Right, and so um, I appreciate that part of it, and I think we tried to use all of that for good, you know, and um, improvement and that type of thing. And so I, you know, I wish I could say that the we've turned the corner on it, but apparently not. Dave, a lot of big time plays from Blake down the stretch there, especially that fourth and 18. Kind of what did you see from him in those late stages, almost rallying the troops to kind of get the Bears back in it? Appreciate that. Yeah, it continues to fight. You know, um, he's in the training room quite a bit, um, you know, work, doing his best to stay healthy. Um, he's upstairs in, uh, in Simpson there. You know, getting receivers and running backs and old linemen to come watch film with him, and so um, yeah, just the effort that he gives and uh, his care factor is way set in the pace. And so when it's like that, and he's out taking the hits that he's taken, you know, sliding or not sliding and doing those things, I think it's a, uh, it's just um, you know, it's an expression of who he is, and so. Um, I'm I'm impressed by that. Dave, you're nine games into the season. You've mentioned the lack of execution, mm-hmm. carrying practice into a game. Mm-hmm. Is there a chance mm-hmm. that as a staff you're misjudging what you're seeing during the week? Appreciate that. Yeah, we've really tried to um, um, be really scientific just in our approach with practice. And so, you know, um, in our team meetings, we'll make a big point of here's the, the plays that we're, we're executing on. Here's the plays we're not. Here's the yards after catch. Here's the yards after run, after contact. Here's the, the missed tackles. And it's, everything's way broken down and way, um, you know, fine tooth comb type of thing. And I think to do all of that and to not like, What's hard is when you're losing and you're doing that, that can be looked at as pointing the finger, that could be looked at as assigning blame, that could be looked at as any of those things. But to do it in a way where it's like we're trying to coach and bring people up and we're all in this together and all of it, I think has been a way positive part of what we're doing. I, I very much, I, I, I can understand the question because we've got to be able to turn the corner with this. Um, I think the execution when it matters most is where we're at, you know, whether it's that the last drive, right, whether it's um, early in the game and it's uh, to go uh, to goal down, whatever it is. I think those are areas right now that are holding us back and we have to we have to push through those. You mentioned throughout the season that, you know, this team is together and mm-hmm. close. Mm-hmm. Is that harder to maintain? Losses pile up, and and is there a breaking point for, for the team? Appreciate that. It is hard. I think it's hard. I, it's very hard. I was, you know, the, there was um, we had a recruiting um, event here prior to the start of the game, and we had some of our learning specialists were in the recruiting suite with us, and and, and um, I hadn't seen them in a little bit. Generally, I would try to make the rounds, and um, have kind of been in bunker mode and all that and so I haven't and was seeing him was kind of catching up and she was just talking about how hard she works just to bring people back up you know we break and then we put them back together again and so I just think 
um, that's what's special about being here is that for sure I'm doing that and the coaches are, but everybody's doing that and everybody cares and everyone's really trying to put people back together. And, you know, we've been able to do that to start a Tuesday, Tuesday morning, but it does get harder every week. Yeah. Two point conversion. Mm -hmm. What did you see from the defense there? Yeah, we lost, um, we lost leverage in our gaps. You know, I think they, what they had shown throughout, throughout the game was shifting to empty looks and then running the quarterback in those empty looks. And, um, and so there's some anticipation that, that could very well be the case uh, with this particular call. Uh, and I just thought that as opposed to kind of fighting a hard shoulder and squeezing and, and flatten a guy out and getting big in a gap, we were penetrating, got skinny, and then he found a seam. And so that's, that's, that's unfortunate for us. We're going to have to build learn from that. All right, thank you guys. Brooks, obviously a, a tough way to, to end that game. What did you see on the two-point conversion? Uh, you know, they put everybody out of the backfield, went to no backs and got the linebackers out of the core and run the quarterback run. We've seen it a few times in the game, just we got to execute when we need it. Brooks, you talked about it in terms of execution. Donovan Smith, a big part of their running attack. When you know that the ball is going to him, but he's such a big body, what gave you guys issues in terms of actually stopping his ability to run the ball? Yeah, um, anytime in the quarterback run games, uh, it's a threat. The only thing that we have to do is make sure of is that our run fits are tight. And uh, I think we did that for the most part, but when we didn't, they gashed us. Um, can you just talk about what the feeling is like in the locker room currently? Yeah, it's just, it feels terrible. You know, uh, yeah, I mean, it's, it's tough. Um, yeah, it's tough. Brooks, just on the way that you guys lost that game in that kind of gut-wrenching fashion, What's the next step? How do you guys take that pain and not allow it to affect the way that you guys come out next game? Oh, we just got to think, you know, we got three games left, and uh, all these three games are going to be up to us. And we still got practice Monday through Thursday. And, you know, we got to come out there with, uh, you know, the intent and the energy that, because if we lose the energy, then no point in being there. So we just need to come out there and, you know, do our thing. Don't change, don't change anything. Just we need to get better at executing, doing that during the week, and bring it over into Saturdays. Answered one of my questions by saying you don't change anything. So, I mean, you feel like nothing needs to change at this point. It's just a matter of execution, guys doing their job, that sort of thing. Yeah, we need to do our job, and if we do our job, we'll beat everybody. Josh, when Dawson scored and y'all went up for the first time in the game, I mean, did you sense that it was there for the taking? Uh, yeah. I um, as, a, as a collective, you can feel on the sidelines, you can feel really the whole stadium, you can feel everyone being like, yeah, this is like, this is all the, like all the momentum was basically on our side. I would say um, we just got to kind of like run with that um, in those moments and just kind of take off when that happens. Josh, I know it's kind of a broken record at this point, but another slow start offensively. We talked about it midweek in terms of what you guys are trying to do to change that? What doesn't seem to be carrying over from practice in terms of energy to the game? Um, kind of like I was saying like earlier, I think uh, just kind of like that big spark play um, an offense that we kind of need uh, to just get going um, and really just um, killing our drives kind of the beginning. That's kind of been another trend. Like we were, we were moving it pretty well um, in the beginning, but then we just had a couple penalties and that kind of just kills the momentum. So it's kind of just eliminating that is a big thing that I've noticed kind of the past couple of weeks. Josh, positively kind of towards the end of that game, it seemed like the offensive line was really moving uh, the line of scrimmage there. What, what can you say about how the kind of they played and how the offense really rallied in that second half? Oh, yeah, they, they were just uh, – they, they played a huge part um, in our success. Um, 
Really, it, it all starts with them. So when they, whenever they just get that spark, uh, it starts clicking with them. Then it just starts clicking with Blake. And uh, really just running backs, wide receivers, just starts clicking with everyone um, whenever that happens. Josh, were you surprised when they overturned the catch? Or, I mean, did you feel like you had it, had control of it but before you rolled out of bounds? Uh, I feel like I had, I feel like I had control of it for sure. But um, at the end of the day, that was their call. So, he said, it, it, uh, if he said I dropped it, then I guess I dropped it. So, just kind of moving on from that, yeah. And to just kind of build on that, I mean, it was that play. It got overturned. It was. Uh, it almost looked like y'all had recovered a fumble to win the game. Mm -hmm. it gets overturned. Uh, you know, does this does this game kind of show just? The roller coaster nature of football sometimes, or uh, yeah, I'd say it's that's exactly what football is. It's ups and downs, um, momentum swings, and that kind of we saw that today with the catch and just different um, situations that we saw. So yeah, it's it's definitely a roller coaster of a game, without a doubt. I guess as the losses kind of pile up, what what is the resolve of this team? Is there is there a breaking point for for y'all in, in this season? Um, I I wouldn't say so. Um, I've just really just being in the locker room, just seeing everyone. Like I don't I don't see nobody saying we gonna like I'm done or I'm quitting. Like everyone's still um, everyone's still like involved and everyone still want to go and make a bowl game and do all that stuff. So I don't see no quitting. I don't see none of that honestly. Josh, you mentioned him earlier, but in terms of Blake. It's made some big plays in that second half, especially that big third and 18 or fourth and 18 run play. What kind of leader has he become in these moments where you guys are down as an offense or maybe need a little bit of a spark? Uh, he's just been he's just been stepping up into that uh, kind of leadership role, and it really it really starts with him. Like when it, whenever we feel his energy, and then the whole offense kind of uh, wants to like rally around him and just get going, and give their best. So whenever he does, like you said, those plays like that, and just really just kind of taking over the game, like it's it's a huge huge impact on everyone on the offense side.